Hey guys, my name is Matt Johnson with whoismatt.com and I recently made a review of this little fella, the Zoom F2. This is a fantastic little recorder, but how does it compare to the legendary, much loved, king of the ring, Tascam DR10L? Today I'm going to be doing an in-depth comparison of these two recorders for wedding filmmakers. So if you are torn between buying one of them, this video should help you out. Let's start off by looking at the size of these recorders. The Zoom F2 is noticeably smaller, which isn't necessarily surprising considering it doesn't have a screen. It also weighs less at 2.4 ounces versus 2.85 ounces for the DR10L. So I'm going to give the edge to the F2 here because it's lighter and more compact, but these are still both quite small recorders. Recorders. Another thing that factors into the weight of these recorders is the build quality. I was quite surprised by the lightness of the F2, and I think that's partially due to Zoom using cheaper components. The battery door on the F2 feels noticeably flimsy and makes an awful crunching sound when you're taking it off. Likewise, the SD card door is made of a cheaper feeling plastic, so you're going to want to be very careful when swapping batteries and memory cards. In contrast, the DR10L's battery door feels much more solid and significantly easier to access. The SD card door is also made of a soft rubber material that's quite easy to work with. So while the F2 wins on size, it loses on build quality to the Tascam. I also want you to keep in mind that the weight that I just told you is what both of these recorders weigh with batteries inside of them. And that is an area where these two greatly differ. Whereas the dr 10 only takes one AAA battery, the F2 takes two. And this makes for a pretty sizable difference in battery life. In my testing, the dr 10 battery lasts for nine hours with normal alkaline batteries and eight and a half hours with rechargeable in IMH batteries. As a nice upgrade though, when I used lithium batteries, I saw a much longer battery life of 15 hours. Looking at the Zoom F2 now, you can expect quite a jump in battery life due to it using two AAA batteries. With alkaline lasting 12 and a half hours, NIMH rechargeables lasting for 13, and lithium lasting for 21. While I was never one to complain about the battery life of the dr 10 especially once I started using lithium batteries, the F2's battery life is absolutely stellar, and I would feel comfortable even using it in a multi-day event. One other feature that I want to draw your attention to is the way that you power on and stop recording with both of these recorders. I've always praised the Tascam dr 10 because it's set up in a way that makes it virtually impossible to accidentally start and stop recording. This is a very useful feature if you're filming weddings and are worried that the person wearing the mic may turn it off for some reason. When I first saw the Zoom F2, I was a bit worried because its power switch and record button are a very different design from the dr 10 ls You flip a switch to turn it on, press a button to start recording, then flip the switch again to the hold position. This is one more step than the dr 10 l but my main concern was that it may be very easy to flip the switch and stop the recording or even turn off the recording. Order. Thankfully, I can tell you that my fears were unfounded. And while the F2 isn't as difficult to turn off as the dr 10 l the power switch is recessed enough that it makes it difficult to flip. And I highly doubt that it will be accidentally turned off. The Tascam dr 10 l wins this category because it's just such a perfect power record switch combo setup. But the Zoom F2 isn't far behind. Looking at the color of the F2 now, you'll see that it comes in black and Black. There is actually a white model of the F2, but for some reason they aren't selling it in America. No clue why. In contrast, the dr 10 l sells both a black and white version in the US. So if you want to do something like mic the bride on a wedding day and have an all white recorder and lav mic set up that will match her dress, Tascam is the way to go. This is a nice segue into us talking about the audio quality of these two recorders. And let's start with the lav mics. The Tascam dr 10 l has a noticeably higher quality lav mic with a metal housing and clip. The audio quality of this microphone sounds better as well. Here's me talking into the stock Tascam lav mic recording into the dr 10 l I've done nothing to EQ this audio other than adding a bit of loudness normalization so you can hear it more clearly. Next, here is the Zoom F2 with the plastic lav mic and plastic mic clip. Again, I've only done some loudness normalization so you can hear it clearly. Let's go more real world now. My friend Jay Worsley recently filmed a wedding with the Zoom F2 and Tascam dr 10 l and was kind enough to send me over this footage. For the bride and groom's first look, he mic'd the groom with both the Zoom F2 and Tascam dr 10 l 
Here's how the groom's audio sounds with the Tascam dr 10 with no EQ or audio effects applied other than loudness normalization to bring up the audio levels so you can hear them clearly. And that moment where I just had this feeling that you and I were going to be something and be going somewhere. I never could have guessed it would work out to the, this amazing relationship that it has turned into over the last few years. And now, here's that same moment recorded with the Zoom F2. Again, with no EQ or audio effects applied, other than loudness normalization. And that moment where I just had this feeling that you and I were going to be something and be going somewhere. I never could have guessed it would work out to the, this amazing relationship that it has turned into over the last few years. Lastly, here's the groom's audio from the Tascam dr 10 again, with EQ and effects applied, so it sounds its best. And that moment where I just had this feeling that you and I were going to be something and be going somewhere. I never could have guessed it would work out to the, this amazing relationship that it has turned into over the last few years. And here's the Zoom F2 with the EQ and effects as well. And that moment where I just had this feeling that you and I were going to be something and be going somewhere. I never could have guessed it would work out to the, this amazing relationship that it has turned into over the last few years. I'm going to give the edge to the Tascam dr 10 with a big part of that due to the better lav mic quality. Back to normal audio now. I want you to keep in mind that the lav mic is only one part of the equation when it comes to audio quality. One reason that I've loved and recommended the dr 10 for years is that it comes with auto leveling, a limiter, and the ability to record a backup audio track at negative 6 or 12 decibels to prevent peaking. But the Zoom F2 says you don't need all that. Here's something new and fancy. 32-bit float audio, which means that you don't have to worry about your audio being too loud or too quiet, you can fix it in post. Which one is better? Well, like I said, the features of the Tascam dr 10 have made it so I really didn't have to deal with audio that was too loud or too quiet. They did essentially the same thing in the end as the Zoom F2. But you cannot discount that the F2 is an extremely simple device. Because of 32-bit float audio, you don't have to mess with microphone gain levels or a limiter or backup track. You just press record and it's good. And so for filmmakers that want no fuss, high quality audio, I have to give the edge to the Zoom F2. One thing I do want you to be aware of is the file sizes you'll deal with when using these recorders. While audio files are still significantly smaller than video files, they can still add up. So let's compare the two. For a five minute audio recording, the F2 gave me a file size of 55 megabytes, compared to the Tascam dr 10 l where a five minute audio file was only 41 megabytes. But I want you to keep in mind that I always recommend using the backup audio track feature of the dr 10 l which means the recorder is actually recording two audio tracks at the same time, one of them at a lower volume in case the audio peaks. Because of this, the dr 10 l actually records two files, with a total size of 82 megabytes. So you will end up recording larger files with the dr 10 l In addition, the Tascam dr 10 l only works with micro SD cards up to 32 gigabytes in size. Use anything bigger and it will give you errors. In contrast, the F2 works with micro SD cards up to 512 gigabytes in size. This is absurdly massive, but hey, if you need to record half a terabyte of audio, Zoom has you covered from both a file size and an SD card standpoint. Speaking of SD cards, the Tascam dr 10 l will allow you to format your memory card on the device. Just use the screen to navigate to the format menu and press format. The Zoom F2 on the other hand doesn't have a screen, meaning that to format the memory card, you have to purchase a USB-C cable that is sold separately, then plug the F2 into your computer and open the Zoom F2 settings app and use that app to format your memory card. This is a huge hassle. And more importantly, if you are out in the field filming a wedding and you need to format a memory card to use in your F2, you're out of luck unless you have a computer and USB-C cable handy. This is a definite issue, and in this situation, the dr 10 l wins handily. Moving on, let's talk about the top of the Zoom F2. Looking here, you'll see there are actually two headphone jacks on top, with one saying input and one saying output. This is ostensibly for you to plug in a pair of headphones to monitor your audio while the F2 is recording, which is a feature the dr 10 l supports as well with its headphone jack. But notice the output jack is on the top of the F2 with a screw-in locking mechanism, whereas the headphone jack on the dr 10 l is just on the side with no locking ability. This opens up an intriguing possibility, where you could use the Zoom F2 as a standalone audio recorder, but also securely plug in a wireless audio transmitter 
into the output jack and use that to transmit audio to your camera for easy synchronization and post. I have not tested this yet, but it's definitely an intriguing feature for the Zoom F2. There is one last big difference between the DR10L and the Zoom F2, but I've saved it for last because it is a difference that you will only get to experience if you purchase the Zoom F2 BT which stands for Bluetooth. This model enables you to use the F2 settings app on your iOS or Android device to control the F2 remotely. You can tell at a glance how much recording time you have left and your battery life remaining, as well as start and stop recording. And whenever you're using the app, the F2's buttons will lock remotely to prevent accidental inputs. This app is really great, but I do want you to be aware that while it will show you that the F2 is recording, as well as the volume levels that it's reaching, you cannot hear the audio as it is recording via Bluetooth. It is still great to be able to see that your audio is recording though. Lastly, let's talk price. The base Zoom F2 comes in at 150 bucks and the F2BT at 200. In comparison, the Tascam DR10L competes nicely at $200. While the F2 may seem like a no brainer to save 50 bucks, keep in mind that you're going to need a USB-C cable to change the settings, which is gonna make those prices even closer. So here's what I would recommend. If you are brand new to wedding filmmaking and you're on a tight budget, by the base Zoom F2 because it's incredibly easy to use and you can always upgrade the mic in the future once you have more of a budget. If you can find an extra 50 bucks for the F2BT though, I would recommend it as the wireless monitoring is very nice. Alternatively though, what if you're already an experienced wedding filmmaker and you have a Tascam DR10L already? or several of them in my case. In that case, you're probably already getting great audio and you don't need the Zoom F2. Of course though, if you want the option to be able to wirelessly check on your phone if your audio is recording, which is not possible with the DR10L, the Zoom F2 BT may be a great choice for you. With that, thank you so much for watching this comparison video between the Zoom F2 and the Tascam DR10L. I hope this helps you make a decision if you are considering buying one of these recorders for wedding filmmaking. If you haven't watched my full reviews of the Zoom F2 and the Tascam DR10L, I will link to them down in the video description. Also, if you happen to be a wedding filmmaker like me, you probably want to book more couples and film more weddings. To help you out with that, I've created a free guide that's gonna walk you through some practical steps that you can take right now to book more couples and film more weddings. It's a completely free gift to you. You can download it at the link down in the video description. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.